When I was in high school, like every other high school guy, I was looking at pictures of Arnold and uh, Dorian Yates was popular at the time. Everybody wanted to be like Dorian. Everyone wanted to do the Dorian Yates workout. And so I think it was as soon as I got my learner's permit, driver's license, you're like 15 and a half, you're allowed to drive. I, the law has probably changed in California now, but when you're 15 and a half, you're allowed to drive during daylight hours by yourself with an adult in the car. So I basically got my driver's license so I could go to the gym. That's all I wanted to do was have a gym membership and I, mm, I wanted to be jacked. That's, that is where my head was. That's what I cared about. My friends, they're all the same. We were all gonna meet up at the gym every day. So started going. Going and I very quickly realized that nothing was happening despite the fact that I was getting a whole lot of protein. I was doing all the movements that all my favorite athletes were doing according to Flex Magazine, which at the time was an abomination of literature. I don't even know if it exists anymore. I think it's just online now. But they've sort of been forced to be more real because the internet has been more real. And by real, I mean the athletes are talking about their genetic differences, which is a good thing. And they are talking about the performance enhancing drug use that is very prevalent in bodybuilding. It's not a shock to anybody. 